Um, uh, good, good evening, um, faculty and students. As, uh, as president of the university, uh, I'd, I'd like to thank all of you for turning out this evening. Um, I, I understand that uh, two of the fraternities are introducing new water bong technology at mixers this evening. So uh, to have even this small scattering of you is a, is, is a treat for me. Um, now, um, as, as, as president of the university, I, I do feel that it, that it is incumbent upon me uh, to, to address the recent uh, Supreme Court ruling uh, regarding the, the United States military uh, for federal funding and, and access to, uh, to, to campuses. Um, many of you have spoken out in opposition uh, to this issue, but I, I, I am here tonight uh, to explain to you why we, uh, meaning, meaning myself and, and the trustees, have agreed to allow the United States military to, to store chemical weapons in our unused dorm rooms. Now, um, m m many of you are, no doubt, uh, opposed to, to living in, in such close proximity to substances that, uh, if, if accidentally released, could cause um, large-scale large, large, large pl pl plague-like plague -like, uh, symptoms uh, to, to spread across campus. And you've, uh, you, you've, you've made your feelings known to me in several ways. Um, uh, letter bombs, uh, death threats, uh, burning me in effigy. Um, uh, so someone slashed the tires on my new SUV hybrid, and um, oh, oh, and uh, someone was was kind enough to hang my wife's cocker spaniel from one of the goalposts on the football uh, pr pr practice field. Um, now, I, I think I, sh I should stress that that no one, uh, the government included, is is trying to tell you that you you, you have to like uh, living next door to chemical weapons. I mean, I I I certainly don't. And we're, we're, you know, we're, we're entitled to our opinions. You, 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 you are free to, um, to, to, to speak out against this, uh, to, to, to write large letters to the editor, to, um, to, to point people away from the rooms that contain the weapons, you know, don't go in there, um, to, to, to uh, stockpile antibiotics, or really even, even, uh, even hazmat suits. Um, uh, the pr presence of, of, of the chemical agents in, in our dorm rooms should not be looked upon uh, as an endorsement um, by this university of, of chemical and, and biological warfare. Um, but um, what, what you need to understand is that as, as, a, as, a, as a public institution, we, we, we receive a lot of our funding for, from, from the federal government, and along with that comes you know, certain privileges and, and access. Uh, I, th I think it was, uh, it's been a little over a year ago that the Supreme Court ruled that we, we had to admit uh, military recruiters, allow, allow them on, on campus. Um, I guess it was oh, about six months ago that they, they started uh, holding war games on the lacrosse field. And um, and oh, it's 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 heck. It's really only been three or four weeks since since the Air Force deposited the uh, the, the nuclear warheads uh, in the storage shed um, back 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 behind the quad. Uh, so you know we we've been sharing the campus with the military for quite a while, and and it was just a logical next step really to the storage of of, of chemical weapons. Um, but you know it, it's not as as if the increased military presence on campus uh, hasn't had its positive aspects. No, no, um, uh, faculty payroll is way down since all, uh, all registered Democrats were, were asked to leave. Um, the, the, the presence of, of military police in, in classrooms uh, has certainly cut down on the number, number of disturbances in that area. And, and, and also, I feel that, that a compulsory registration of the international students will certainly foster a greater sense of community for them, uh, as, as will the, the ID badges uh, they're, they're being uh, asked to wear at all times. Uh, as well as the, the, the new dorms that are being constructed, uh, especially for them. May, may, maybe you've seen them there. They're on the far side of campus uh, behind the, the cyclone fencing and the, and the razor wire. Um, I haven't seen inside yet, but I'm, I'm told they're, uh, they're, they're, they're quite nice. Um, so in, in, in closing, um, I, th I think I, I should remind all of you of just the awesome role that uh, the military does play in our lives. I mean, truly, they, they are the watchdogs of democracy. Um, and, you know, in, in, in spite of the fact that the uh, uh, amount of money given to this university seems to keep decreasing with every uh, funding cycle, still, still, in spite of that, um, if our nation's defenders need a place to store their anthrax, I think it is our responsibility to say, right over here with that, um, no matter how we might happen to feel about it um, per personally. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's really all. Um, so, uh, uh, good night and good luck. <laughs>